Now, with it being Thanksgiving, and a lot of you probably spending time with friends and family who have not watched Andor, or who refuse to watch it for one reason or another, we figured it was a good time to bring you the top 15 things to say to your friends and family this Thanksgiving to get them to watch Andor. And before some of you think we've taken the Disney dollar and are shilling their product, no, we're just having a little bit of fun on Thanksgiving when a lot of you are probably sitting at friends and family looking through YouTube to find something to watch. So if you're tired of the same old, same old Thanksgiving, maybe you don't feel like watching football or the first Christmas movie for the season that might undoubtedly be playing in the background right now, we'll tell you how to get them to watch and or instead. I mean, it's on cable, why not? It is. Or on free TV, it's on ABC. Again, mm -hmm. we're not being paid to say this. We just really think it's a good show I want you to watch it. Yeah, and then you can come back and talk to us about it. Yeah. All right, let's get this list kicked off. Number 15. Ever wonder if Star Wars has anything other than sand planets? I have wondered this after the last few shows. Where everything's on a sand planet? Where everything is on a sand planet. But guess what? Andor actually takes you to a city planet. What? There are city planets in Star Wars. In a salvage construction planet? Yes, and they're actually like functional. In a beach resort planet? That's the one I would pick to go to. Oh yeah. Except nice. for the Imperials ready to throw you in jail and then prison <laughs> for six years to make the same part over and over again. Yeah, that happens. Number 14. It has something adorable. Doesn't all Star Wars have something adorable? But this one's really adorable. Is he? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> who, couldn't, who couldn't fall in love with that face? I think you're talking about B2. I love my little B. You do love your little B already. And I think a lot of people would love little B. Share him with your friends and family this Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Slice him up like a turkey. No way. Don't no! Do that. Number 13. It has a better heist than Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> it does have a pretty good heist. It has a pretty good heist. You'll see Good Prevail, possibly. Doing, Will you? I doing bad that. things? Isn't that how it is, though, with the heist movies? You always cheer for the one doing the stealing? As long as they have charisma, like um, perhaps a George Clooney or a Diego Luna. Hmm. Or a Nemec. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Number 12. Something for your snobby and political friends. Oh yes, there is some upscale high society in this as well. We have fancy dinner parties, senatorial politics. Oh yes, and or did not forget about you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our humble little party. And, uh, round that off with number 11, sex. It's heavily, heavily, <laughs> heavily implied. And not the type where between the two movies somebody gets pregnant and then has a child. No, no, this happens... Just off screen. Just off screen, but you still like, know really, about I it. Like, really, I mean, just off screen. It's, <coughs> Cough, Bix. <coughs> Tim. It's so, <laughs> with two M's. <laughs> Red Light District. That, too. I'm Ooh. sure that's all fun and games there. Mm. Wink. Even on a slow night, one could say. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> all right, number 10. White is the new orange. That's right. We're going to prison. That's right. It's Hard the new, time. It's the new prison show that everybody's going to be talking about at the water cooler on Monday. Mm, you don't want to be left out. You better watch the show, right? Yeah, and you better learn how to swim, too. <laughs> 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 Number nine. These days of cancellations. Never fret. It's already filming season, too. That's right. You can't start it and go, well, how does this end? Because, well, we know how it ends in more ways than one, don't we? Looking at you, Westworld. <laughs> Well, you were the only one looking at Westworld. That was the problem. <laughs> Giving me half a story. And it will give you the whole story. Yep. Right up to the next movie. <laughs> next story. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight. There is a beautiful love story. Oh, it is Gone with the Wind-esque. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why did you laugh at that? Gone Somebody... with the Wind? Yeah. You're going to compare that to Gone with the Wind. Of course. The... This is Deidre... Did you call it a Deedrill already? You're I'm, shipping yeah, I'm hard. Yeah, I'm trying to remember my ship name. It is Deedrill. Deedrill, yes. Cyril Ugh. Karn and... The little relationship that could. <laughs> or shouldn't. Will. Probably shouldn't. <laughs> Moving right along. Number seven. It's like those real crime documentaries everyone loves to watch. Yeah, where the good guys catch the bad guys in the end. The ISB, hard at work behind the scenes in their office. Yeah, it's just like law and Pencil order. Pencil pushing, just figuring like out stuff, order. solving crime. A little bit of extra law and order. <laughs> That's what they should call this show. Interrogating the witnesses. Yeah. 
Totally. They, they do it all. Yeah, just, they do. Just like those real crime documentaries. Yep. Number six, the bad guys are actually bad guys. In a good way. Because they're terrifying? Yeah. They're actually scary. I can't remember thinking the Empire is scary. There was that one time at the start of episode four. <laughs> when they were terrifying and then you're like, oh. Oh, they can't Now they're a else. joke. Yeah. No, they're, they're actually bad guys and scary. No Ewoks here to stop them. <laughs> Number five. The good guys are also kind of bad guys. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean <laughs> that's a good thing, right, though? Well, it still holds to the core Star Wars values of good versus it evil, very right? It much does, yes. Just exploring how far good's planning to go to win. How far does good have to go before it's bad? How bad right. does good have to be yeah. to beat the bad? <laughs> now I'm confused. <laughs> As you should be. Number four, it's all about family. You mean it's Fast and Furious? No, no sorry, wrong family. Wrong family. Yep. It's about real people with real connections. And Wait a second. Are you saying this is more realistic than the Fast and Furious movies? Hey, if you give me a scene where a mom slaps her son and hugs him in the next second, I'm all good. <laughs> what about a submarine chasing a car? Does it have that? Doesn't need that. <laughs> no movie ever did. <laughs> the submarine chasing a car or the car chasing the submarine? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Number three. Makes you feel something real. It does, doesn't it? It hits you in the feels. Yeah. All the feels. The good high feels, the angry feels, the sad weepy feels, all the feels. Yeah. And then feels you didn't know you could feels. <laughs> <laughs> well said. <laughs> Number two. Makes other things you probably like even better. You mean like a Rogue One? I mean, it was good, or but... Maybe... It could be better. Jeez, <laughs> oh, that's that's the Mandalorian. What are I, you doing? I know I'm crossing, crossing, crossing into factions Mando. outside of factions into factions. <laughs> it's like breaking the sixth wall. You are, yes, <laughs> the sixth wall. What happened to the fourth and fifth? I think we broke them earlier in the video. It's like time and space as well. Now <laughs> we're breaking everything. It's all broke, but yeah, it ties so well into enhancing Rogue One, but it also enhances the original trilogy, which yes. I didn't think. Disney could successfully do. <laughs> Nobody did. Seeing as Kenobi did Kenobi Co things. Kenobi did Kenobi things. Yeah, but no, mm -hmm. this actually makes the, the sacrifices and the, the struggles of our heroes in that original trilogy all the more meaningful. Hmm. Number one, it's actually really good Star Wars. Yeah. It's hard to hard to say that. Sometimes it is. After there's the been, last few entries. There's been some good Star Wars in Disney, if we're fair, but this is actually... Really, really good. It's like a sleeper agent because everyone's like, it's Andor, who cares? Yeah. But, but it's so good, you have to but care. But you gotta care. You gotta, gotta care. care. If you give it a chance, you'll care. You care. Trust me. You'll care. I care. B cares. He does care. And he's a droid. <laughs> he cares so that a lot. means you can care too. Exactly. If B can care, you can care. And you can make your family and friends care this Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if you, uh, if you made it this far, Happy Thanksgiving, and again, this was just in fun. We decided to do something a little different today because most of you are probably with friends and family. We thought this would be clever. Tell us in the comments below if it was or not. And until next time, thanks for watching, and have a happy Thanksgiving.